Whenever there is a reference made to the unification of India, the names of vanguards like Sardar Patel, Pandit Nehru and VP Menon take prominence. These three leaders executed the task of unification of India perfectly with understanding, restraint and cooperation based on a strong bond of trust with one another. While on one end Sardar Patel along with VP Menon were taking decisions based on their analysis of ground realities, on the other end Pandit Nehru in his capacity as a prime minister not only stood firm with their decision but also supported them completely with strong policies and decisions. But the Nizam of Hyderabad was nurturing absurd dreams of joining Pakistan. When all humble efforts by Sardar Patel did not make a breakthrough, he sent the Indian Army to execute Operation Polo, to which finally the Nizam had to bow. The men under my command were called upon to perform a superhuman task and against very heavy odds. There was no alternative for me left but to surrender. The case was similar in Junagar. Junagar was a part of Sardar Patel's home state, so there was no way he would tolerate such a division. Ergo, Sardar Patel resorted to such clever tactics that the Nawab, who was dreaming of making Junagar a part of Pakistan, had to himself abscond and take refuge in Pakistan. Pakistan's design to destabilize Kashmir, Sardar Patel deployed an air fleet on Delhi Srinagar route. He also kept Pathan Court, Amritsar and Jammu connected via telephone and telegraph lines. Watching Kashmir slip out of its clutches, Pakistan waged an attack. Under such circumstances, the Maharaja of Kashmir signed the instrument of accession, giving his consent to merge Jammu and Kashmir with India. Following which the Indian army drove away Pakistani army from Kashmir, an integral part of India. Sardar Patel, the name that unified India, is being misused today by divisive forces to cling on to power, and there is a need to recognize this. Jai Hind.